Lawmakers want to see school board candidates have an R or D next to their name on the ballot. As WDRB's Katrina Nickel tells us, voters will make the final call. I feel pretty strongly about this issue. Parents like Martina Webster say House Bill 1428 is exactly what many want. Why not at least have the transparency instead of letting people that are definitely partisan hide behind a nonpartisan label? The bill would make Indiana school board candidates identify with a political party. As long as the school board chooses to do so, or voters choose to vote on a referendum and let the people decide. I don't believe that there needs to be politics involved in education at all. New Albany Floyd County Schools board member Leanne Wisehart is against the bill. She says the district already saw politics enter its last school board election when a GOP PAC backed two candidates and sent people to campaign at polls. They were lying. They were saying very, very destructive things, alleging things were going on in our schools that are not. And I don't take it lightly when people say things about our teachers. If the bill does pass, Weishart says the only plus is letting voters have the ultimate say. Hey, if they want to put that on the ballot for our voters to dictate whether or not school board candidates have an R or D, let the, let the people choose. But Webster argues it should be partisan across the state because many local school board members already show their party affiliation. The school board races are just going to continue to be partisan regardless of whether this bill ch changes things or not. Katrina, Kentucky lawmakers are trying to pass a similar bill this legislative session, Senate Bill 50. What are the differences between Indiana's and Kentucky's version? Well, Kentucky has a wider scope. In addition to school board races, it would also make all city council and mayoral part races partisan. Mm. Another difference is Kentucky's version would take effect by 2024 if passed. It would not go back to local voters. All right, Katrina Nickel, thank you for your reporting.